Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is factoring by grouping, so if you're in my class, this will go pretty fast, um, and if it's the first time you've seen it, it'll still go reasonably fast, you guys, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at that Groovy website right there. So here's the steps to factoring by grouping, and it, if you ever see four terms, you guys, typically that's factoring by grouping, okay? All right, so the first thing is we group the first two terms together with parentheses and then group the last two terms together again with parentheses right there. And then we factor out a GCF from each separate uh, term. So the first two terms we GCF and we do a GCF of the second two terms. And then, and then you get a common binomial with that, and you'll see in just a second, and then we're going to factor out that common binomial. Okay, so here we go. Factor completely. Okay, so here's the steps that we just did right here. So this says group the first two terms together and the second two terms together. So we'll put parentheses around these two guys and put parentheses around these two guys. Okay? All right, so since this is a plus, then we always pull out that sign. But if that was a minus right there and we have some of that, then it's going to change this sign. I'll show you in just a minute. All right. So here I can GCF out of these two guys an X. And when I pull out of these two guys, we can pull a 7 out. So when we pull an X out of these two guys, we pull an X out of X squared, we're left with X. We pulled it out of that one, so we're left with plus 5. Here we pull a 7 out, we're left with X. We pull a 7 out of that, we're left with plus 5 again. So it gives us the common X plus uh, 5 binomials right there. So now what we do, so we factored out a GCF from each of those guys. Now we factor out this common binomial. So this blue X plus 5 comes out as 1 X plus 5, and we're left with the red stuff, this X plus 7. Okay, easy, right? Let's try that with this one here. Okay, so let's group them. Group the first two together and the second two together. And out of these two guys, we can pull an x squared out. We'll be left with x plus 9. Out of these two guys, we pull out a 3. We're going to be left with x plus 9. So we'll pull out the common x plus 9s. They come out as 1 x plus 9. When you pull out the blue x plus 9s, you're left with the red stuff, x squared plus 3. Okay, here's another one right here. Okay, now be careful. When we, we're going to group these two guys together, when we group these two guys, as soon as you put a parentheses in front of this minus sign, this becomes a plus 12x, and this becomes a plus 4y. It changes the sign. So just be careful. As soon as we put parentheses around it, if there's a minus sign, then it changes that. Okay? Imagine if I said distribute this negative back through. You'd get a negative 12x. You'd get a minus 4y. So when we distribute the negative back through, it takes us back up there. So when we pull the negative out, it's going to change this to a positive. That's the only trick on this one. Okay, so out of these two guys, we can pull an x out. We'll be left with 3x plus y. Out of these two guys, we're going to pull a 4 out. Remember, there's a minus right there. It changes that to a plus, so it's going to be 3x plus y again, okay? So when we pull the blue 3x plus y, we're left with the red stuff, the x minus 4. Okay, let's try that with this one here. Again, we're going to pull, we're going to um, uh, group these two guys together, and we're going to group these two guys together. There's a minus, so it's going to change this to a minus 56 right there, okay? All right, and then out of these two guys, what's the greatest common factor? Not just a common factor, but hopefully you can see 8 is the biggest number that goes into both of those, and an a squared. You always pull the smallest power of a, so an a squared. Out of these guys, we can pull a 7 out, and when you do that, you're left with the common 3a minus 8. So when we pull that out, we're left with the red stuff again, okay? All right, let's try that with this one here. Again, it's going to change when we take out this negative. This is going to become a plus right there, okay? And then out of these guys, we can pull a 6, uh, looks like a 6a out. And out of these guys, we can pull a d squared out, okay? So when we do that, we're left with the common 7b plus 6c. And so when we pull that out, we're left with the red stuff. All right, okay, this one's going to be a little bit tricky. When we group them together and we GCF out, we can pull a 2 out of these, we can pull a 1 out of these, but we don't get a common binomial right there. Okay, so this binomial is different to this, so we run into a dead end. So what we have to do is rearrange them, you guys. So if we rearrange them to this right here, and then uh, group these guys. So when we group these guys, now, remember, when we pulled a negative out, it changes that right there. So we can pull a 4n out, and out of these guys, we can pull a 1 
it out, and we're left with the common m minus 6. And when we pull that out, we get uh, m minus 6 times 4n minus 1. Okay, let's do that with this one right here. Okay, when we group those two together, uh, let's see, can we pull anything out of these? I don't see anything. So when we can pull a 3 out of these guys, nothing happens. Okay, so we can pull a 1 out of the first one, and then uh, we pull a 3 out. We don't get the same binomial, so we have to reshuffle these, you guys. So when we reshuffle them, and it takes some trial and error, you guys. So uh, this will be the magic uh, reshuffling right here. So now when we group those guys together, and then how do I know? Just playing around, you guys. So if it doesn't work, then try reshuffling them again. And pretty soon you get more, more um, um, uh, better at this stuff here, you guys. Sorry, tongue twister. All right, and then uh, we can pull uh, the 3Z out and the C out, and there we are right there, okay? piece of cake. All right, let's try uh, one more, you guys. All right, so here, uh, when we group them together, it doesn't work, you guys. So just by trialing in the air, you guys, um, uh, this is my, my shuffle right here. So uh, I'm going to group these guys, pull a 6A out, and then pull a, a 5 out of these guys, just a 5. So when we do that, you guys, we're going to get the common binomial factor. And so there it is right there. All right, if you are in art class, we have another worksheet for you. Take care.